1977, the Soviet Union conducted flight tests on a unique twin-engine transport aircraft, which was later mass-produced and put into service in the 1980s after repeated testing and modifications. This aircraft is the Antonov An-72 transport aircraft with short takeoff and landing capabilities. The An-72 is a unique transport aircraft that utilizes the Coanda effect, also known as the wall attachment effect. The theory behind it is that when a fluid, such as air, flows over the surface of an object with minimal curvature, the fluid will follow the curved surface, changing its direction of motion. This effect is used to increase the aircraft's lift, thus achieving the short takeoff and landing effect. The transport aircraft has a conventional fuselage structure and a T-shaped tail, with the engine nacelles mounted above the leading edge of the wings, resembling a shoulder-mounted configuration. It is powered by two Lodorev D-36 high-bypass turbofan engines, each producing a thrust of 63.75 knots. The unique engine placement is designed to allow a more powerful airflow over the wing surface, combined with large-sized flaps to change the wing curvature, diverting some of the airflow downward to increase lift without increasing the flight speed. The use of high-bypass ratio engines is chosen because the high-temperature gas from jet engines could directly heat the wing surface, while high-bypass ratio engines can mix the high-temperature gas with the low-temperature air from the bypass, reducing the temperature of the exhaust. The N-72 has an empty weight of about 19,000 kg, with a crew of 5 people. It can transport up to 10 tons of cargo or 68 soldiers, or be converted to carry 24 soldiers on stretchers and 12 seated wounded. It has a maximum speed of 700 km per hour and a cruising speed of 600 km per hour. Thanks to its unique design, the aircraft has a takeoff run of approximately 620 meters and a landing run of about 420 meters, shorter than conventional transport aircraft of similar weight, and it also has the capability to operate from unprepared airstrips. The N-72 has several subtypes, such as the original N-72A transport model, the N-72 at specialized cargo version capable of carrying international standard shipping containers, the N-72S luxury version with a kitchen, lounge area, and work area, and the N-72P patrol aircraft equipped with bombs and rockets. Based on the prototype of the N-72, another version, the N-74 transport aircraft, was developed. It is essentially the sibling of the N-72, but it was initially designed as a medium-range transport aircraft for use in extremely cold weather, suitable for low-temperature environments at high latitudes and altitudes. To date, nearly 20 subtypes of the N-74 have been developed. Besides being used by the military of countries like Iran and Turkmenistan, the series is more commonly used by airlines, such as Antonov Airlines and Polit Airlines. Currently, the N-74 is one of the key products of the Kharkiv State Aircraft Manufacturing Enterprise in Ukraine. In addition to producing new aircraft, the enterprise also provides maintenance services. For example, it was reported recently that a Turkmenistan N-74 TK-2000C aircraft flew to Ukraine for maintenance. These activities are essential for sustaining the current Ukrainian aviation industry.